Hi, it's me, Bobby, and in this video, I'm going to tell you why you're so important as a stay-at-home mom and how to increase your energy levels so that you can look after your loved ones as much as possible. So, future ninja super moms, be ready because the first thing I'm going to talk about is shame on you. That's right, I'm going to make you feel really bad. I'm kidding, don't feel bad, never feel guilty because what happens when you feel guilty that will reduce your energy levels so never feel guilty that you could have done say better reason why is because you are doing the best that's right the responsibility of you to look after your children and your spouse is the biggest thing you can ever do in life however the lack of gratitude from people can bring your energies down so all you have to do is change your mindset a little bit and you can increase your energy levels so one thing i want to talk about is how you feel if you're a stay-at-home mom and you're not working and it is your job to focus on the children never ever feel guilty about that never let your partner or spouse make you feel like you don't do anything because that's a huge argument i mean your contribution is is the biggest contribution you can do in a family home. You're here looking after them, feeding them, making sure they've got clothes, blah, blah, blah. If they contribute, then, then good. But the thing is, stay-at-home moms have the biggest pride for this job ever. Um, some people look after their husbands only, and then some people have kids. Now, kids are huge efforts, which means the efforts on the spouse will be severely reduced and that's when you get your arguments and this and that going on and all these feelings make you feel bad but you gotta know and you gotta understand that your focus is actually you so shame on you if you're not looking after yourself first and then everyone else because you need to put the oxygen mask on yourself before you save anyone else and one thing about stay-at-home moms is the lack of sleep so what's happening is you've had your baby which is a huge process already like men can't complain you didn't pop a kid out of your belly um so you need a lot of healing and sleep does that and when you have a newborn do you sleep a lot no unless you're lucky of course and then you might break free of lower serotonin levels which then contribute towards depression anxiety and all these kind of postnatal depression blah 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 because you don't sleep. Second of all, you don't eat properly because, and now that your energy is levels low, you're not really going to focus on delivering delicious home cooked meals that require a lot of effort. So the reason why people go and have everything cooked for them is either A, they don't know how to cook, or B, they don't have the time. So I'm going to focus on time at the first thing because there's a lot to do in one day for a stay-at-home mum it's a 24-hour job with hardly any breaks but to some people it's unlimited times on netflix and on the sofa okay so the second one is you don't actually know how to cook you're just never educated how to cook for either your parents the school system or anything now personally i have a passion for food so i i chased it i watched cooking channels all my young life my mum taught me how to cook i then studied it in school um i really like food and how to cook food so I'm not going to suffer, but not everyone's the same. Not everyone does through technology or catering in school for GCSEs. So your lack of knowledge of how to cook and the lack of actually practicing how to cook means you're most likely going to get a takeaway or pre-cooked meals or pre-made meals. Anything that's pre-made is going to really be lower on nutrition. Lack of nutrition means you can easily get a lot of diseases such as depression, ADHD, heart attacks, obesity is all caused from a lack of knowledge. You don't know how important your food is and you're being trapped in the system. So lots of marketing from high sugary processed foods have nothing good for you apart from, like I said, diabetes. And uh, foods like this are actually cheaper. I find that eating healthy is not cheap at all. My diet consists highly of fish oils, 
omega-3 fatty oils such as flax seeds, olive oil, all these things are really good for the heart. Some people have been telling you that oils are bad for you, fats are bad for you, shame on them. Because that's why heart disease is one of the top reasons for death. That's right, death. But obesity, yes, from all the marketing schemes. Um, the fact that food is cheap, yes. It's much easier and cheaper to feed your family on carbohydrates, right? Because it's cheap. Pasta, rice, bread is all cheap and instant. So why not? High, you know, high, high protein diet. It's going to be expensive. Meat, meat's expensive, right? So then what? Then it's the time, the washing, the chopping, the cooking, the cleaning. Oh, the cleaning. The cleaning is the worst. At one point in my life, I did not cook specifically because it's spending hours and you feel like your whole day is literally cleaning. And that's making you you low, low energy. So then you go and fall into a trap of ordering food already cooked that's low on nutrition because either you don't know how to cook or it's just cheaper to cook things like pasta and rice and just a casserole over the dish. And then you're in a trap once again. So you eat low foods and deficiency and you feed your whole family food and deficiency. Then you have arguments and then you have all these diseases and mental health issues that arises, causing no sleep and you don't exercise. And why don't you exercise? You don't have the mood. You can't be asked. I can't be asked to go to the gym. Who does that? Even if you had time. I don't have time. My, my exercise is vacuuming. My exercise is, you know, running up and down the stairs after everyone else. You'll change your mindset. Because anyone can do your cleaning. No one else can do the exercises for you. No one can beat your heart for you. Increase your strength. Because you're going to need it. Because being a stay-at-home mom is stressful. And if you go to work and you're stressful. When you're not at work, that cuts off. And you come back home. And then you like, when you've done the cleaning and then you increase their stress levels and because they're not eating their healthy fats, they're more likely to stress out. And because they're not sleeping, guess what? Your serotonin levels are reduced and then you're starting to feel like you're sad because your life is not being as joyful as it originally was. You are taking care of your loved ones. The most biggest joyful things in your life, that changes. Maybe something else is going on, you know? Your focus is no longer on your children or on your spouse. Things start turning. You're dealing with teenagers. Maybe there's an affair here and there. You don't know. So, all these problems are almost killing you. And you are the one who have to support the family. You're going to be trapped in a circle. So, as a stay-at-home mom, I highly, highly, highly recommend that feeling of fulfillment and purposeness. You don't eliminate that by saying that you're just a stay-at-home mom because you're really important. Don't let society put labels on you and say you're a stay-at-home mom because you're not out there being the accountant. You're not out there doing the job or that. She's a mom and she's a this and she's a that. So much pressure to do more than one thing that actually the biggest, most important thing is to focus on you and your children. Because once you're young and healthy and they grow up, you can do your career. Or some people have done their career before they had children. For me, I actually have four in a row. Four children and three consecutive years as well. That every single year, I had a child. I was studying accounting. I studied for about eight years. And I was very close to my qualifications when I decided not to do it anymore. It wasn't my joy. It was mainly just for money. Money is not the answer to everything. And once you're happy, money flows anyway. And the worst thing is you don't get joy, you don't get money. And you're always in debt, paying bills, not satisfied with life. So this video really is just to um, have a healthy influence. Because I'm very lucky in the last three years that I've been able to meet a lot of doctors and fitness gurus and health freaks and all sorts basically people who've raised my energy and i've read a book called ultimate energy i highly 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 recommend it it's just amazing and it focuses on also mindset emotional fatigue that's caused and you think that you haven't got problems in the world well actually all the problems in the world start with you because it's your responsibility to a 
make yourself happy and B, and make sure that your children are raised properly so that you are educated because you're not educated, not even on food, not even on nutrition, not even on how to be an efficient mom these days. But lucky, lucky we have social media, YouTube, things like this. I learn about me meditation, mindfulness. You don't actually actually have to have a doctor right in front of you. Although I have been pretty lucky to have doctors right in front of me to help me with mental health issues, energy levels. I've had speakers as well. And speakers have a lot of energy, you know, because their mind's on peak. Yeah, a lot of your fatigue is emotional. And then you ask yourself, is that thing or person or event really worth sucking up your energy? You say, no. It's not. Who's most important? You're most important. So all these unwanted feelings, have a run, release it, burn it, whatever. Brush it off your shoulder because what you need to do, focus on your levels of energy and what makes you happy, what makes you joyful. So if you're ever picking a career or you just, as, as a stay-at-home mom, find some time to learn and read books. Seriously, I never read a book in my life back in the days. I studied and just kind of winged it halfway through and I've hardly read through any books. And um, it was the first book I read all in one go was Ultimate Energy. I couldn't stop reading it. But I have read a lot of, um, or listened to a lot of audiobooks. Think and Grow Rich. It's a really good book. And then I continue to educate myself on food as well. Illnesses, that book full of illnesses. It's called All to Do with Deficiencies. So the food to eat not, is not, not nutritional enough. And there's not a lot of education out there to help you. So I want to be really grateful and thank social media because they've actually been a big part of educating me. And I just want to spread the word. At the end of the day, I'm a mother of four and a stay-at-home mom. I do have a job as well that I really, really love. And I have a lot of energy doing it. But everyone's different. Our diet's different. I'm pre-diabetes. So I can't eat a lot of carbs. I'm not saying everyone shouldn't eat carbs. I like modelling and being active in my job. But some people like to be behind a chair behind a computer I can't stand being in front of a computer because my eyes will be like like that so in these you know short 15 minutes of your time I really hope that I've given you some value as a lot of youtubers have given value to me and I just want you to increase your self-worth your self-love as well and realize that you're really important jobs are important for paying their bills but not as important as you as your purpose and as you live with lots of energy and your life is as long as a journey there's no rush to be the richest person in the world it's depression when you see other people do well in life it's not to me I, they inspire me don't feel bad feeling bad puts your energy low find what makes your energy high you never know you don't know you never discovered it i now want to be a doctor and I never thought I'd want to be a doctor back then. But reading all these books about health gives me energy. I can't stop reading the books. It's really start exploring your strength. I would say stick with the strengths. I'm no good at cleaning. I will leave that to the cleaner. Because I am more of a gym girl. I'll go to the gym. But also, I've learned something about KonMari, which is decluttering. So that your cleaning process is hugely reduced. And KonMari is a lot to do with bringing joy to your life. So remember, your kids bring joy to your life. Your spouse should bring joy to your life. And if you work together, the whole family can have a lot of joy and a lot of energy with a lot of healthy influences. So thank you very much for watching my videos. And let me know in the comments if you want any more videos to talk about. Have a joyful, joyful life.